Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another modded weapon guide here on Borderlands 2. Today I have got one hell of an insane mod uh, to bring you uh, here on Portland's 2. It is just absolutely crazy this thing. Uh, it is called the Chopper Hopper and it is just an absolute barrage of complete and utter mayhem. Uh, as you can see, uh, there's not a lot of information on this on the uh, actual GitHub page for me to, uh, to go through everything, but uh, I don't think you guys are going to need it. It's just completely and utterly, well, I've, called, I've sub, subtexted it, the apocalypse is here, and uh, you can definitely see why. So we're going to be reviewing this today. Uh, absolutely fun as hell to use, but pretty dangerous as well, and uh, you'll see uh, why maybe in a couple of uh, scenes here. But uh, yeah, this took me a little bit of practice to get used to. You know, it is complete and utter carnage and damage, but there is a certain playstyle and certain things you've got to watch out for. Uh, so yeah, we'll be reviewing that anyway. Uh, that is a chopper hopper made by Lax Life on the Pullers 2 community GitHub. So as always, we'll start off by uh, showing you guys exactly where to get it. So as always, you can click on the link in the description, which will take you straight to it. Or you can head over to the Borderlands 2 community GitHub, click on Borderlands 2 mods, and then navigate your way to Lax Life's section, which is about midway down the table, just here. Click on that and uh, you'll see that we've already uh, reviewed the Benoit um, from Lax Life previously. So today is the Chopper Hopper's turn. Click on that to bring up the weapons information page and then click on the raw tab at the top right of the screen. That will take you to this page here. All you have to do is right click save as and then save into your Borderlands 2 binaries folder. Grab yourself a bunny rocket launcher because that's what's uh, turned into the Chopper Hopper once you've activated the, uh, the mod on the console command menu which I've just done here and uh, as you can see now we have got ourselves uh, four very nice looking elemental uh, chopper hoppers right here so you can see the red text right there says I said a hip hop the hip the hippie blah 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 that is obviously the lyrics from the uh, the song rappers delight from uh, sugar, sugar hill gang I think it is something like that I might have to look that one up so apart from the uh, red text change, there's not much change uh, from the weapon at all on the uh, weapons card or the look of the weapon, um, except the, uh, like, like I said, the red text. It still re explodes like a grenade when reloaded, like the bully does. But uh, yeah, we're going to go give this a, a try on the road up to Captain Flint and just cause some absolute carnage. So basically, from uh, the changes, you can see that uh, this thing just fires out very, very precise, straight, rapid bullets um, so it will just keep on firing all day long as long as it keeps the magazine full it will just fire away and as you can see uh, as well as firing the bullets out it will regenerate the ammo straight away so uh, this thing theoretically can just go on and on and on and the only way to stop it is by switching weapons or reloading the weapon uh, so like I said, there is, although this is complete and utter carnage, it's devastation uh, and anything in front of you will die. Uh, you can also put yourself down very easily with it. Um, you've got to really watch out and you'll see me running away quite a lot after I've reloaded it. You've got to watch out for the bunny. You've got to try and time it um, where you can actually turn around, chuck it like right off a cliff is probably the safest thing or with a nice straight uh, thing in front of you. But uh, it's tricky because when you turn around to try and aim for somewhere to uh, actually chuck it, if you uh, hit something that's very close to you, say there's a little post or a pole that you don't know is right next to you or a ledge or anything like that, uh, the actual shots themselves, because there's so many of them at such high damage, they'll just put you down instantly. So unless you know that there's nothing at all to the left or to the right of you, you've got no choice really unless you want to go down but to actually reload it in front of you. But the problem is when it goes in front, if it hits something, it can turn around and come straight back at you as well. Uh, a couple of times while testing this, I've uh, chucked it, what I thought was a good space in front of me, and uh, suddenly I've turned around to, uh, to run away to be a little bit careful, and for some reason it somehow got behind me, come back, and then uh, exploded and put me down. And uh, because I just sat here uh, and killed everyone before reloading, see, that's exactly what can happen, that can come back at you at any time. Uh, because I actually killed everyone there, I couldn't get myself back up again, so uh, you can die a lot here. Uh, a couple of times I've been running around with this, firing away uh, at enemies and all that, just turned around and then suddenly, oh no, there's a pole 
down I go so uh, you've got to be very careful so as you can see my method of uh, using this is to actually just get onto the highest point uh, of an area like this right now uh, just so I know that I am up in the air and nothing is near me so I can move left and right freely then reload before actually uh, moving on uh, but again you can't move on straight away because you don't know where that bunny uh, is going to end up so that like I said look there you go it, I aimed forward and it's actually could come back I mean it's bouncing very high so if I had to take one you know wrong bounce in the wrong direction that would have launched itself into the air and put me down so it's just absolutely uh, really really tough to actually be able to uh, to use this in an indoor area you oh, you well you're gonna go down no matter what you know take this to somewhere like South Boss Demon Power with uh, loads of things in the indoor area you are gonna have a tough time but it's doable it's definitely definitely doable um, running away from the bunny right there as, as well uh, but yeah uh, recommend an outside area but again this road to Captain Flint here is not exactly a complete open area you know if you're somewhere like the Highlands or whatever then this would be awesome you'd be able to fire it from such a long distance and take on any stalkers or loaders near you but when you get in a congested area like this with ramps and barriers and buildings and things like that you've really really got to uh, actually plan where you're going to shoot and when you're going to reload and things like that but I absolutely really enjoyed this it's just complete and utter carnage it's so precise it's unreal but you don't have to be that precise obviously because of the sheer amount of bullets that can be launched at the enemy at once you can uh, apply a lot amount uh, sorry a good amount of damage over time even if you're not hitting them straight you're hitting behind them round them because there's so much of it they're going to run into it they're going to take damage and uh, yeah all in all it's just a really really fun uh, complete carnage weapon so that's why I decided to call it subtext the apocalypse is here uh, because I'm using the fire one especially this thing is just complete and utter crazy uh, I'd like to probably take this to someone like uh, a tough enemy maybe like a raid boss would probably do uh, okay against this this would absolutely slay the ancient dragons of destruction uh, which I might have a go at actually but someone like a uh, Jukino's mom go down there with a the corrosive version of this and uh, just stand there and let her die it's uh, pretty awesome I decided to use the Javan and Leah Krieg set up with this though because of the uh, the ammo region which you don't need because it's got it anyway but just the fact that it uh, you know damage dealt heals you I, uh, I really enjoyed the rocket setups with this creek so definitely try it with a, a, a creek setup for sure can you imagine two of these with salvador though holy well it's probably like the living hell out of your uh, your computer but yeah anyway guys that is the chopper hopper again one of my probably one of my most favorite overpowered weapons for sure this thing there's no covering it up it is op as hell yeah it's not a one shot or anything like that uh, and it just take a good amount of uh, actual practice and play style it's just a lot of fun so uh, yeah go ahead give it a go and let me get, know what you guys think of it down in the comments below so thank you guys for watching really hope you enjoyed the uh, the apocalypse machine the chopper hopper made by lax life over on the bottom was two community github thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one